Hello and welcome to this video on enabling single sign-on with Okta using SAML. In this video, we'll be walking through how UATest allows users to enable single sign-on using SAML so that administrators and reviewers can log on using their organization's credentials. Enabling single sign-on in UATest using SAML is a two-step process. Uh, this first step is required. I'm going to show you how to create an app inside your Okta tenant and then enabling single sign-on inside UATest by adding that SAML entity ID for the specific application. Um, so to begin, right, what you're going to want to do first is go up here to this developer console, and you're just going to change this to classic UI if it already isn't there. The next step is you're going to go over to your applications and select this. Uh, once you've selected your applications, you're going to go to add application right here. Click create new app and right there the platform web is perfect. What you're going to change is SAML 2.0. So make sure that the sign on method reads SAML 2.0. Once that's done, you're going to click create. And now on this screen, it's just going to ask you to name this app. Uh, since we're doing this for you test, I'll just name it as such. You could name this whatever you like. Uh, once that's done, go on to the next step. Now this part right here, this is very specific, so this URL must read as follows. I'll paste it in there so you can see. Um, zoom in, you're welcome to pause it here, but this will be in the description, so you will be able to see this URL. Um, so that is specific. Now the next part, you do want to have this box checked, so use this for recipient URL and destination URL, that's perfect. And then your audience URI, this is just going to read Okta. So it should look like that. Then you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, click Next. At this step, you're going to say, I'm an Okta customer, adding an internal app. And then next, you will put, this is an internal app that we have created. Once that's done, you'll click Finish. So now the next step is to go to your identity provider metadata. You're going to go over here and now you see all this. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select the last bit of text here. You're going to copy this and now you're going to go back. You're going to go to the general tab, scroll down to SAML settings click edit and now you're going to go this looks perfect so you're going to go into the next step which is step two configuring SAML and you're just going to add this bit of text right here to the end of the single sign on URL once that has been completed you'll click next and finish so just to note at this point the SAML app setup is complete um, so now you must assign users who will be using this single sign-on in UATest. So your Okta part is finished. In this next step, I will show you uh, the final steps on UATest. Now that the application is configured in your Okta tenant, the next step is to enter that entity ID into UATest. First, you'll start by going to API integrations, selecting your current API integrations, going to edit, changing this to SAML, and then entering your SAML entity ID as such. Remember, this ID can be found back in your Okta tenant by going to the application we just worked on, going to the general settings, scrolling down to SAML settings, and selecting the following text. Once that's done, you plug it in there, click Save Changes, and you're finished. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to set up your SAML into UATest. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. My email is provided below and I'm more than happy to help. Appreciate it. Take care.